What's going on guys, it's your boy Fly Stewie. Today, we are showing you how to play with the backdoor bird. So we have our scholar here with the hair bird that can attack the opponent at the very bat, the furthest opponent, so we can attack this guy whenever he wants. We also have the mid lane plant, very hard to kill, can get you energy and very good against buffed up opponents. Who likes to buff up the most? Aquas, you're destroying Aquas every time. We also have a front plant, a lot of damage. This guy wants to get you out of the game. He wants to get rid of you. In the front, we have our nice little Aqua here. We have an Aqua here, and we have a plant here. So, immediately the thing that catches my eye is this plant cards, and you can always plant because the title's uh, green, does a lot of damage against Aqua cards, right? So you want your plants to attack this Aqua, but at the same time, this guy's gonna attack a random Aqua, so you can them by straddling their guys like this, they kind of nullify this guy a bit. So what I would do here, it's tough. You have to make a decision if you want to wait or go. I would actually play all my cards here just because I don't want to die with this guy having this much cards in his hand. You have a go to here to limit the energy and control it. Let's see what they do. Then they do exactly that. They play all three of their cards. Guys, it's really bad when your cards die in your hands. You never want that. And also, if someone's attacking you, you'll want to be attacking because you're able to use the cards as defense. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't attack the Aqua that he wants, but again, this guy doesn't have any heals, so this damage, you're attacking an unguarded enemy. Because this guy's unguarded, you're doing maximum damage there. That's what we want. In this situation, I would actually pass here. This is a great situation to pass. This person can't put any pressure on your energy and next round you'll have enough attack damage to kill this guy one shot so and he's not able to take you out interesting <laughs> notice how he uses one he gets rid of them with the hair and gets rid of both axes with that. So right now, in a very dominating position. Now, this back axie is no joke. Like, that's all I can say. Energy generation with carrot, blood taste to get the energy back, pumpkin and can disable you. Guys, this is a very tough axie. Let's see what happens here. Very smartly, our scholar passes. That's definitely the move to do. You just want to get your energy up. He can, he, this guy can gain energy, but what he can't do is take your energy away. I would honestly keep passing, not much not much reason. And very smartly, our scholar sacrifices our bird because he realizes that this Axie here is a better matchup against this guy. Whoa, that was close. Honestly, to be honest though, at the same time, I wouldn't mind just putting up one shield and maybe a heal, or just one shield. This guy has attack damage, but is he gonna get rid of the plant one go? I don't think so. Not, but we're in a very tough situation. Yikes, okay. <laughs> and now uses all of his bird cards here. Not a bad mood at all. And gets rid of him with the lucky crit. Guys, Jiho is the most powerful force in the universe. And that's why you always gotta pray to crit Jesus at least seven times. So guys, very decent game. I think in the end, when you had that two and one, there's a bit more efficiency, efficient ways to kill him. Essentially, you want to shield up your first guy a bit. You know that guy's not killing you one shot. And then you just all out attack with both your axes using six energy. But using four energy with the bird was enough to get the win. Nice win there. Guys, so if you like these videos where I go over our scholars gameplay to help give you guys those little basic moves that really help you in the beginning of your Axie journey, let me know and I'll keep doing that. It's been your boy Fly Stu and we, Flight Crew, need to take off. Peace!